Y'all already know what's going on. We is in the building, man. Shout out to the podcast. Make sure y'all smash the like button as soon as y'all get up in here. Uh, say what number you is. Drop a little cane so we can shout to where everybody from. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail. We talking about 100 stacks. And we talking about King Von and 051 Driller, man. So we're going to go in order. We're going to start off with the 100, 100 stacks. The whole time, RP 100 stacks, man. You know, Northside Rapper. Uh, from Day Day World over there by Thorndale, y'all already know, man. You know Pee Wee G and them, they damn there over there by Far Rail, Little Four Mob, they over there by Sunnyside and Hazel, Lords and shit. Stones over there by Magnolia and, um, and Wilson, you know. And you know the Day Day World, they some GDs, man. But they be beefing with other GDs, but they GDs from Thorndale and shit like that. That's the um, block that Duke Acapella from, you know. They damn near had like a little wave back in like, like around the time that Pappy was having his wave. They had they wave and shit like that. So you know another rapper over there go by name of Gualamane and shit like that. You know this area I used to be around when I was growing up and shit. Motherfuckers run around the shorty. So it's like I know a lot of people who know them niggas. I done ran into them niggas before, but I know I know some niggas personally. Like I'm real tapped in with. You know low key grew up with who know them niggas personally and shit like that. So, you know, um, it's crazy cause 100 Stacks, he just got hit up at a funeral. I believe him and Gualaman got hit up at a funeral. I'm not sure though, it probably was just 100 Stacks and you know, some other members or whatever, but um, 100 Stacks, he just went to a funeral not too long ago, got hit up survived but was like you know he got who's kind of fucked up off that shit for them was recovering this it's shit like that you know so you know it's kind of it's kind of crazy that you know he get hit up right again you know he got hit up right again bro and it's it's crazy because he got hit up in front of his kids they hit him on some TP shit, on some THF TP shit. They hit him up in front of his kids. And it's, this will make me more crazy. They hit him up in front of his kids on Father's Day, bro. Like, the father, like, TP got hit up in front of his kids. That's fucked up on my son. Like, we ain't doing no comparing to none of that shit. That's, that's like getting hit up in front of your kids, period. It's fucked up. But to get hit up and took out this shit in front of your kids on the on, on Father's Day, you know what I'm saying? That's like a mama getting killed in front of her kids on Mother's Day. It's like, damn, you see what I'm saying? Like, that shit fucked up, bro. You know, bro survived the war uh, between him and the blocks that they was into it with. End up going to a funeral, getting hit up at the funeral. End up being fucked up behind that shit, having to do all type of recoveries, all type of shit. Then, not too long for him, you know what I'm saying, to get hit up on Father's Day and get took out the shit in front of his kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, RP 100 stacks, bro. He had that big, you know, when Glorilla first came out, she came out with that fuck nigga free shit, right? He remixed that shit, and that shit went up on my son. 100, K, 100 stacks, his, like, like his ass go crazy. He was going crazy on the music, bro. It was out, like, Northside Rappers is one of the damn near damn near low-key like some of the most talented rappers in the city bro if not the most talented bro you already hear motherfuckers crown and pappy as the king of this as far as like the coldest like a lot of, i'm talking about over dirt keep duck bond they like it's a lot of, i'm talking about south side niggas east side niggas west side niggas they 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 saying pappy the coldest you see what i'm saying so it's like you know it wasn't just pappy bro it's like it's somebody that's I know y'all like you biased, you from the north side, nigga. Like, yeah, I know I'm from the north side, but what about these east side niggas saying this shit? What about these south side? Like these niggas saying this shit. So it's like I'm just confirming what the fuck they saying. You know, you know, like, yeah, I'm from the north side, but it's like shit, it's a lot of east side, south side, and west side niggas crowning Pappy as the coldest nigga, uh, whoever did it out the rack as far as in, in the drill scene and shit. And what I'm here to tell you is that it wasn't just him. Like, 
it's just something about that north side when it comes to that putting words together, bro. We cold to say a lot of people who tapped in with me, y'all know I do the shit. Like I be doing the music shit. A lot of people they like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It's just something, bro. It's just something about our side of the town where it's like we cold when it comes to putting words together. But uh R.P. Hunter Stacks, he was just a, he was another nigga who was cold with that shit. He was cold with putting them words together, bro. It's fucked up how he got took out this shit. But uh yeah, man, definitely R.P. Hunter Stacks. Um, you know, y'all hop in the comments, y'all, you know what I'm saying, sing condolences and shit like that. But um, y'all make to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is, and drop a location so we shot the way everybody from. Uh next topic is 051 Driller, bro. Driller, apparently he got on no jumper and called Von ass a goofy. Like he like, man, King Von ass was a goofy and shit like that. And you know, that could just be chopped up to you know, they on two different ends, bro. Cause it done been multiple driller interviews where he say Von Nass was wasn't a goofy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just one day a nigga go up in the interview and say one thing, and then the next day a nigga go up in the interview and say another thing. Cause it's a few interviews where a driller said the complete opposite. Like man, you know Von was a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know his ass wasn't no goofy. But now. You know, some I don't know. Sometimes I guess it be niggas be on some shit like, all right, I said Von wasn't a goofy on like a smaller platform, but this platform got like millions of what's the name. So it's like, I don't want to get up to up in this bitch and say Von, like I'm finna call his ass a goofy on this platform because it's like, you know, whole time niggas don't even be knowing, bro. Like them, 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 uh, them smaller platforms got the ability to do the same numbers as them big platforms do. Like, if not more, a motherfucker with like 200k subscribers, they'll do the, uh, the same numbers as a platform that got like 5 million subscribers. If not more, bro, it's just all about the impact of the interview. But I think it was 16 Sodom interview that Driller did where he said Von wasn't a goofy. You know, 16 got like 200K on the subs and shit. And you know, Adam got like 5 million plus, I think, on the subs. So I guess he was like, man, there's a big platform. I'm finna, I ain't finna say the nigga. I'm, I'm finna, I'm finna say his ass was a goof. You know, like shit, this shit gonna reach 5 million people on some shit. I don't know what, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know the, what the mindset was behind that shit as far as Driller. Just switching it up like that. He for one one time he gonna say Vaughn wasn't a goofy, but but this time he decided to call him a goofy. But you know, at the end of the day, bro, motherfuckers know what they know about Vaughn. I ain't here to defend or confirm the shit that Driller said. You know, motherfuckers know what they know. I mean, that type of shit is opinion based though. Like, this ain't no factual shit. Like, oh no, it's a fact that Vaughn like that a goofy shit. That's a uh, that ain't on no two plus two equal four shit. Like, when it come down to calling a motherfucker a goofy or not calling a nigga a goofy, that's up to you. That's your opinion. It's not like five plus five equals ten. That's facts. Like, nah, bro. Like, this some opinion shit. Like, some people think his ass a goofy. Some people think he, his ass not a goofy. You know, it's just all come down to the person. But y'all hop in the comments. Y'all think drill ass uh, was, you know, you think drill ass was, like, what y'all think about Driller calling Vaughn a goofy? Y'all think he keeping it 100, or y'all think he funding this shit? Y'all, y'all hop in the comments, y'all let me know what y'all think. But, um, y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is, drop a location so we can shout out the way everybody from. Make sure y'all mess with all them links in the description from top to bottom. Make sure y'all mess with that Shot Rack Rumor series, run that shit up. The Untold Story series, run that shit up. Join the family, click the join OTM link. Support the channel at dollar sign CSP OTM1. Make sure y'all run up that CSP Go to War with Blogger series. You know, make sure y'all click them Patreon links and shit. Run up that CSP Hits playlist. Run up that DODA2 playlist. Make sure y'all follow me on IG at the official CSP1. I make sure y'all follow everybody back. And last but not least, make sure y'all go get y'all OCM merchandise, man. 
You know, we got merch for men and women. We got everything. We got everything in all colors. When you get your shit, take a picture of you wearing that shit, send it to me on, and to my DM on Instagram at the official CSP1. I'm going to post it on all my platforms. I'm going to put show. Instagram link as the caption so we can run your Instagram followers up same time we're running up my OCM merchandise. But look, y'all already know, man, this Shot Rack Story podcast. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody. Keep putting up. I love y'all. Y'all already know what's going on, man. We just up out of here. Brought some money, y'all. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Look.